Armistice Day, 1918. Scene, a big military hospital in France. The news has just come through. All the morning there was expectancy in the air. Now something has happened. Something we have been waiting for, hoping for all these years. What shall we do is the question on everybody's lips. We all used to imagine what we would do when the war was over. Such wonderful things. Let's do something now. The great square of the hospital, such a busy place at times, is quiet and deserted. But for a few orderlies and up patients crossing leisurely, discussing the news. The air is full of tension. Something must be done, but nobody knows exactly what. Then it is that the inspiration comes to one of us VADs. She is an English girl who had left her home for the first time to give herself heart and soul to her work for our boys. By the side of the square hangs an iron rail from a post. This she starts striking with the hammer that lies by it. Stroke on stroke, and the great empty square fills with hurrying figures. They come from the huts built among the chestnut trees of the garden, defended by sandbags this last year, against air raids. Stroke on stroke, from the cookhouse come the cooks, and the guards from the guard tent, and all the staff from the office. Stroke on stroke, the whole place is alive. Medical officers, sisters, nurses, orderlies, every patient who can walk, and those who can't, hear and know what the sound means. The call has come. The move is made. She has done her work. Now the crowd does the rest. The Padre brings out the portable harmonium. A patient with bandaged head installs himself as organist, and we are singing the national anthem, the Marseillaise, the Old Hundred, everybody at the top of their voices and from the depth of their hearts. Over the road at the convent of St. Vincent de Paul, the good nuns in their great white caps have mustered their children by the gateway, called by the sound, and they too are singing their songs and ours. It is all over as quickly as it began. It lasts but ten minutes at the most. The crowd vanishes, each to his task, and the night staff gladly to rest. The busy hospital couldn't stop for long. The tension is gone. The necessary something has been done and we can go to our work content and happy. The first five years of the war will be the worst, was the old saying, and these are over now. The armistice is signed and there will be peace. Thank you.